What's going on everyone? This is Eric at Six Figure Sneakerhead. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're thrilled to have you here. I'm back with another recap video. This is week 48, otherwise known as the week of November 23rd. We'll be going over the weekly drops and previewing what's ahead for sneakers and streetwear. As always, FSS is the number one place to get all the up-to-date info for any releases you're looking for. We have a lot to get to, so let's just jump right into it. First up is the Air Jordan 4 Fire Red. I, for one, am psyched that they brought this colorway back. It's an original colorway from 1989, so that makes it all the more special. This colorway has been retro a few times since its debut, but this is actually the first time it's had the Nike Air branding since its birth in 1989. We all know the shoe by now. A white leather upper with black and fire red details. Don't forget the rubber netted underlays and black heel tabs with the red Nike Air branding. This is legendary designer Tinker Hatfield's second shoe in his long Jordan tenure. While MJ and the Bulls didn't win a championship or even reach the NBA Finals for that matter, I think we're all still happy that that year happened and we got to see the Air Jordan 4. I actually adore this shoe. I still have the 2006 Mars version of the Fire Red and still wear them around, even though they're pretty beat. This iteration of the Jordan 4 Fire Red retailed for 200 bucks and is now selling for the 250 to 260 range. Next on our list is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 380 in the Onyx colorway. For those unfamiliar with the 380 Boost, it's comprised of a re-engineered prime knit upper to give a sock-like feel. You know, similar to other Yeezy models we've seen before. At the end of the day, we're still thankful that we have a full length of Boost unit in the midsole for optimum comfort. Right now in the resale market, the shoes are only hitting at a 13% price premium mark that brings it to around the $260 range. If you're selling on a big platform, after fees, you might just be evening out. Right now, Yeezys just don't seem to be moving the needle. What do you guys think? Is there anything to expect in the future or is their Yeezy resale market dead? After all, Kanye said he wanted to give shoes to everyone basically want Yeezys to be part of everyone's uniform day to day. So that means a very high supply with a dwindling demand. I guess the story remains to be seen. Lastly, for shoes to release this week, we saw the Nike Kobe 5 Pro Tro in the Bruce Lee alternate colorway. Kobe Bryant's signature shoes have always had Bruce Lee inspired colorways, drawing directly from Lee's jumpsuit in Enter the Dragon. On a mostly black and white upper, we see touches of red on the heel and forefoot, the latter of which feature four slash marks, kind of a nod to all the injuries that Bruce Lee sustained during the filming of the movie. The idea of the Pro Tro is to add a new performance to the old Kobe 5. Now we have better foam technology in the midsole, as well as larger zoom air units for better responsiveness on court. At this point in time, the resale price has spiked to $328 roughly. Those are some pretty decent numbers and somewhat unexpected for a Kobe 5 retro. In terms of streetwear, we saw Supreme collab with longtime friend and skate company Antihero. The drop was centered around both companies' logos meshed together. In sort of a ransom letter type font, they spelled out atmosphere urine. We saw a skate deck, a couple tees, hoodies, twill jackets, beanies. Accompanying that collaboration, we also saw a couple great Polar Tech pieces. These included a hooded sweatshirt and a half zip pullover. Very cozy. I have to say though, one of my favorite pieces of recent is this, the Aerial Logo crew neck in the burgundy colorway. What do you guys think? For next week, the rumor is that we're getting the Cross Box Logo hoodies. These will be huge. Look for the article by me coming this week. With all that said, let's move on to some upcoming drops I wanna to highlight to you guys. First, the Nike Dunk High Varsity Purple. Now this is gonna be a women's colorway shoe. Guys, always remember to size up 1.5 sizes to get your true size. These will be dropping December 3rd for the retail of 120 US dollars. Look for resale to be somewhere in the 250 to 270 range. Next, another highly anticipated drop is the Jordan 1 collaboration with J Balvin. I wrote the blog on these. Be sure to check it out. 
These will be super hyped, retailing for $190 coming on December 8th. Last one I wanna to touch on is the classic Jordan 11 holiday drop. For those unaware, there's always a big Jordan 11 to come out around the Christmas season. This year, it's the Jubilee colorway. While we already saw a shock drop on it that I was just seconds late to, they'll be getting their official release on December 12th. These will be on the sneakers app for 220 bucks, always a lofty price tag for Jordan 11s, but resale should be somewhere in the high 200 to low $300 price range. That's all the shoes I want to highlight at this moment. We do have plenty more coming up. Be sure to check out the blog. As always, all the resources are on our website. If you're new to reselling, be sure to check out the Hype Master Playbook. Actually, if you subscribe to the newsletter also, which will be linked, you'll get a free preview of the flagship Hype Master Playbook. So be sure you sign up for those emails. They'll land right in your inbox so you never have to worry. As I've mentioned before, we also have the 2020 Supreme Bible. It's written by us and features lifetime updates for you guys. And if you want to get even more involved, be sure to check out the Winner Circle. It's our private cook group. All the testimonials are on our socials like Twitter and Instagram. You can see all of our members killing it. Lastly, I want to wish you and yours a happy holiday season. Stay tuned to the channel for more updates and I will see you guys soon. Peace.